Let me guess, you've been told to learn C++ as your first programming language because you will gain a fundamental understanding of computer science and programming. Wrong! This is possibly the worst advice you could receive as a beginner. Don't get me wrong, learning C++, pointers, memory management is very important to do, but not at the start of your programming journey. Instead, I will give you the two best programming languages you should learn as a beginner. First, let's answer this question. Why should you not start by learning some harder languages? The truth is, it is very easy to get discouraged when learning programming for the first time. Because it's difficult. Having to think about garbage collection and memory management when you don't even know how to write a for loop is not the right way to go. In my opinion, you should minimize friction as much as possible. You should probably learn the basics of programming in a language whose syntax is very easy to read and understand. I mean, let's compare writing Hello World in C++ and in Python. There's a huge difference. Then you might say, all right, maybe not C++, but why not Java or C Sharp? They're easier to learn, right? Well, the same argument applies. I don't think your first entry into the world of coding should be about learning object-oriented concepts like polymorphism and inheritance. Note that I'm only talking about beginners. If you already know some basics of coding, you should definitely learn some Java and object-oriented programming as it will prove very useful in your career. In addition, languages like Java and c -sharp need to be compiled, which requires the use of a terminal or IDEs like IntelliJ and Eclipse, which is even more things you don't want to worry about as a beginner. At the start, the the best thing you can do is to keep things simple and to avoid adding friction to your learning process. You might ask, what in the world should I learn then? Well, you've got two excellent options. And the first one is JavaScript. JavaScript is just so easy to get started with. No need for a compiler or a complicated ID. The only thing you need is a text editor and a browser. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript make up the trifecta of web development. HTML is the content of a website, CSS is the styling, and JavaScript makes the website come alive by making it interactive. It's also dynamically typed, which makes it very easy to write. This has its downsides because it makes it very hard to maintain and prone to bugs. But that is not something you should worry about as a beginner. In fact, according to Stack Overflow's 2023 developer survey, JavaScript is the most used programming language in the world, so you cannot go wrong with it. But what I love the most about it is that you can build literally any web application that you have in mind using a single language. You can use JavaScript on the front end with frameworks like React, but you can also use JavaScript in the back end with Node.js. This is awesome because you get to create full stack applications from scratch without having to learn multiple languages and without having to reset your brain every time you switch from the front end to the back end. Now, project-based learning is really the best way to learn programming because coding is not about memorization, it's about practice. If you want to start practicing now, I highly suggest you take a look at this video where I discuss a free open source curriculum to learn web development. It is also important to note that JavaScript has a huge ecosystem of frameworks that you can learn as a beginner, to the point where it can get quite overwhelming. But don't worry too much about it. The truth is, you are going to have to learn some of these frameworks at some point if you want to become a web developer, but not at the start. Listen, JavaScript is great, but the programming language that I think most beginners should learn, you can guess it, it's Python. Like JavaScript, it's a dynamically typed language and its syntax is very easy and intuitive to use, which is why it's my number one recommendation. In fact, Python was my very first programming language, so I have a soft spot for it. The stats from the developer survey also support this suggestion, with Python being ranked the second most popular language just after JavaScript. While JavaScript is more limited to web development, Python is used in many more areas. AI, machine learning, data science. There's also a bunch of useful libraries, you can use matplotlib and pandas for data analysis, Keras and TensorFlow for machine learning, just to name a few. Of course, you can also do web development with Python using frameworks like Flask and Django, which are commonly used in the industry. Python syntax is very close to human language, which makes it very fast to write. And it's a great language to use for programming interviews where you have to write algorithms to solve a specific problem. Indeed, you want to spend most of the time thinking about the problem you want to solve, not about the syntax of the language you're using. This is why Python is often the most recommended language for lead code style interviews. So, which one should you choose? Well, start by analyzing your interests. If you have an idea for a web development project or you simply like the concept of building one, pick JavaScript. On the other hand, if you want to get into data science or machine learning, pick Python. If you're in university, doing computer science or software engineering. I highly suggest you take a look at JavaScript because it is rarely thought in schools, 
even if it's one of the most employable languages in the world. And you'll probably have classes using Python anyways. If you're self-taught and have no prior programming experience, I suggest you learn Python because its syntax is just so simple and easy to learn. Then you can continue diving deep into Python and its awesome libraries or switch to JavaScript and web development. In truth, it really doesn't matter which programming language you pick. The most important thing is to practice and to build projects that you can show to potential employers. This is the reason why I think JavaScript and Python are the best languages to learn as a beginner, because you can easily build some cool projects with them. In conclusion, you cannot go wrong by choosing Python or JavaScript as your first programming language. Of course, you can go with another one, but you have to keep in mind that it's probably going to be a little bit harder to learn. But as long as you have discipline and you put in the work, you will succeed. If you want to code but you have no idea where to start, check out this video where I discuss the number one resource to learn programming in 2024. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.